Here I am going to explain about analysis of women city in Indian cities using machine learning on tweets. Aim of the project. So the aim of the project is we using tweet messages as data sets and analyze using these data set we analyzing the crimes uh, like women crimes, abuse, sexual harassment, rapes, murders like that using these uh, these crimes or uh, here we using uh, tweet messages as a data sets to predict uh, the crimes abstract in abstract here we using machine learning algorithm uh, machine learning algorithm that is a uh, time series analysis and trend analysis algorithm so it is used to uh, analyze the tweet uh, using these tweet messages what are the crimes and what are the abuses sexual harassment so many like this uh, like this so here we using these algorithms to predict this and nowadays uh, crimes and abuse rapes murders like this are uh, increasing a lot so here we using a social media platform that is uh, twitter so nowadays uh, social media platforms are play an important role and they share their opinions uh, in they share their opinions their emotions uh, uh, all all of their emotions or sharing their uh, social platform, social media platform <coughs> introduction so in nowadays in india we are going to see about uh, in india particularly so many states like uh, for example uh, tamil nadu andhra pradesh uh, uttar pradesh like that so so many states in so many particular states and districts we are using these uh, places to identify how uh, how many crimes and how many uh, rapes abuse sexual harassment uh, murders later to these uh, we are going uh, we are going to see about this in data sets so we are collecting these data sets later to tweet messages so uh, these uh, data sets also we are using a particular place to identify that and uh, <clears throat> so nowadays uh, so many women or feel unsafe while going to uh, uh, out of uh, college school or a workplace wherever whatever uh, all of them feel unsafe also nowadays uh, eye body shaming is also an sexual harassment so these things are the human crimes we are going to see about that existing system so in this existing system they used lexicon based learning so this one uh, is not better accuracy uh, this one not get better accuracy so uh, they also using the same concept uh, social media platform that is twitter based images and they using data sets as uh, tweet messages the women crimes related to women crimes <coughs> but they using lexicon based learning so this one is not get better accuracy so disadvantage data analysis is not proper prediction is inaccurate and getting some errors proposed system in proposed system we mainly using machine learning algorithms particularly we using two algorithms that is time series analysis and trend analysis algorithm to predict the women crimes to analyze the crimes and here we analyzing the data analyzing and data extraction these are all uh, using for the so extract the information from our data sets <coughs> So advantages here uh, the model accuracy is uh, better and Twitter analysis is proper good enough for social networks system architecture so data collection means data collection is uh, using data sets that is uh, tweet messages then <coughs> pre-processing means data cleaning and EDA concept is used for uh, uh, graphs plots like that so uh, here EDA uh, in EDA concept they using four uh, types of like that 
zone wise analysis state and district wise analysis and year wise analysis crime wise analysis so these are like uh, zone wise analysis state and district means the crimes uh, the women crimes rapes abuse and sexual harassment these are particularly in state and district particularly uh, per year how many crimes are uh, happening and per state and per district wise uh, how many crimes are happening like that we are analyzing these using graphs and plots to analyze and visualize the data and implement the model means here we implementing machine learning algorithm that particularly time series analysis and trend analysis algorithms so finally we evaluation means here we finally uh, predict that uh, using these tweet messages we predict that uh, <coughs> the women's uh, is safety or not safety like that system modules first data set collection so data set collection here we using tweet messages these web, uh, data sets are collected from candle website so these data sets are in a csv file format and uh, it is used as a input data pre processing so data pre processing is used for data cleaning so if we have a uh, <coughs> unwanted data sets uh, for any errors like that in our data sets it will remove it uh, in data pre-processing we will remove it for example uh, we using null value so if we have uh, <coughs> any null values in our data sets we will uh, remove it the removing the unwanted data using data pre-processing so mainly it is used for data cleaning exploratory data analysis so EDA concept is used for particularly graphs and plots to analyze to visualize the data using graphs and plots uh, so here we using graphs and plots uh, using libraries like that example pandas numpy matplotlib and seaborn so here matplotlib and seaborn are used for data visualization that means here we using these two these two particularly matplotlib and seaborn is used for uh, plots graphs like that distribution plot histogram plot graphs pie chart like that we have to analyze we to visualize the data and pandas numpy is used for numpy means numerical python that is used for a mathematical computations and pandas is also used for data frames like that model implementation so here we using machine learning algorithm but mainly we using machine learning algorithm that is two algorithm time series algorithm and trend analysis algorithm so time series algorithm means it will uh, it will deal with the, it is deal with the time series data or uh, and time series data means the data in a series of particular time or period particular time of periods and it has three types time series data cross sectional data and pooled data so time series data means uh, it is the observation of values that uh, variable takes different times it takes a uh, different times and cross sectional data means uh, it the data are collected one or more times one or more variables at the same point in a time at a time it will uh, take a uh, one or more variables at the same time but pooled data means combination of time series data and cross sectional data that means it is combining both the time series data and the cross sectional data means it is the pooled data so evaluation here evaluation means we using eda concept for bars graphs like that so finally we evaluation means here we analyzing uh, and visualizing using bar graphs pie charts and uh, to display the output and negative bars bar graphs can be used for positive and negative bar graphs can be used to uh, it's like a <coughs> it's used for mainly tweet data sets uh, how many crimes are like uh, zone wise analysis year wise analysis it will be uh, given give a output like a graph format the software requirements hardware requirements and conclusion so here we using mainly machine learning algorithm that is one is time series analysis algorithm and the another one is trend analysis algorithm so it is used to uh, <coughs> evaluate it is used for predict that uh, uh, the women's safety or not safety and eda concept here used for to analyze and visualize the data sets like uh, graphs and plots
so finally we predict that uh, using these data sets finally we predict that uh, women's is safety or not safety so these are the references thank you